There we go, welcome back now, Tommy McCarthy making his professional debut. In the opposite corner there, we've got Lorando Chesner. Stood there looking like a bit of a madman covered in tattoos. Four three minute rounds this fight. He's just looking ringside, looking at a few of the guys that's there. Can't help but notice Howard Foster. You know, we don't know where Howard's gonna be next Saturday at the big fight. Will he be there? Will he referee one of the undercard fight? I'm just waiting for the first time 80,000 fans are sat there and Howard Foster gets beamed onto the big screen. What had happened? You know, as I've always said, I think it was a good stoppage at the time. We've got to talk about Flotch Grove, that's what everybody's talking about. My mum and dad don't like boxing, it's what they're talking about. You go in the shop, you pick up a pint of milk, pick up a loaf of bread, it's what everyone's talking about. It's Frotch Groves next week. I think the world's going to stop, I think that's all that matters. 80,000 people. Uh, I think Ticket Touts have had a great time. I know they've made one or two pounds off a few of my friends, and a few of my friends have also lost out. But I say, Howard Foster, is he responsible for the rematch? No, he's not, but I think he des <laughs> certainly deserves a helping hand. He's doing the right thing now, he's laughing it off. You cannot blame Howard Foster for what went on. It was shocking some of the stuff that was subjected to him. And I just think it'd be great. Let's have a big pantomime boo next uh, next Saturday when, when the boxers are in the ring. Let's get Howard, get him on the big screen. Okay, we're about to kick this fight off now. Four, three minute rounds. Keep them tweets coming in. Hashtag VIP Boxing TV. Keep them coming in. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Keep them coming in. Any questions, anything you want to know about the future schedule? Steve Wood and his lads, anything about the stream, anything about the team, get in touch, we'll give you a mention, we'll answer your question, enjoy the show, two lads who look like they're going to go at it here, brace yourself. There we go, we talk about commentators' curse. I said these two were going to come out and go at it, and uh, well, I couldn't have been further wrong, could I? So I might, uh, I might just stick to talking about what I know about. What I thought was boxing, obviously not. Coming out there having a look at one another. Tommy Carth, it has a little bit, I think, look a bit of Crawford Ashley there. No, he's just bouncing about now a little bit. Obviously going to be nervous in the pro ranks first fight. Very excited. Looking forward to letting his shots go. Put them together now. Brought a few fans here with him as well, sold a few tickets. Could be an exciting addition there to the uh, the cruiserweight division.
there we go, end of the first round. Chesney's walking a little bit gingerly to his corner there. I'm not sure he's going to fancy much more of that. A couple of really nice hands from McCarthy there when he put them together. Doubled up a couple of times in his corner there. Now he's just gone back. We've got Bernardo Checker. Also got Patsy McAllister in the corner there for McCarthy tonight. See the referee there scoring it. Pretty straightforward. It's a 10 9 that. McCarthy's going to want to get him out of there. These big lads, when they turn over, the cruiserweights, like heavyweights. Super middleweights, heavyweights, all about getting your opponents out of there, building your record. I know the lighter works like to get them out of there, but as a cruiserweight, that's what you want to be known as. It's when you want to be marketed as, you want to be marketed as a cruiser. The days of Johnny Nelson and the you know the stylists, if you like, they're, they're kind of gone now. Everyone wants to be the next David A. Everyone, you know, we're still looking for the next Mike Tyson in the heavyweight division now. And that's what these lads are doing. That's what they're doing when they're coming through now. Second round coming up. I say, I, I fancy McCarthy get him out of there next couple of rounds. Let's see if we can make up for the, the shambles I made of the prediction before we start. Don't forget, tweet us, hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Keep them coming in. Yeah, he's less and less coming back from Chesney. I fancy McCarthy. I think he fancies it himself now. A little bit more of a snap, a little bit of sharpness to his punches. Certainly a lot sharper than the first round. Seems a little bit more confident in himself. Did have a bit of a warning for a low blow. Referee telling him and ticking him off. I think he just allowed him to get back to his corner. Just like he's putting his shots together a lot better now. One twos, winging in that right up, bringing it round the side, trying to get his gloves down. I think he'd be. Uh, I think he'll look to go the body again. But uh, there's a couple of wild right hooks going there. A couple of them got through. Referee's having a little look at it. We have seen Chesney on these shows a couple of times. Normally a tough, durable kid. Um, I said McCarthy seems to be getting through, so it's to be hurting him. Shown he's hurt there to the body. Again, right hand doubling up. I don't think the referee's going to let this go on much longer. I can see him jumping in. It's a little bit of time left in the round. McCarthy admiring his work there. Got last 10 signal now from the timekeeper at ringside. I don't think he's going to get him out of there this round. I'm going to move to the third round. We'll catch up with some tweets. Okay, let's see what's been coming through tonight. Last last couple of minutes or so. We've got Gary Nell. Is there a body underneath that tattoo? It's a good shout, mate. I'm not too sure. I won't be going checking. That's that's for one. We've got Barry Rooney. Come on, big Tommy Matt. Let's do the business. Certainly seems to be a popular kid. Ryan Glynn, great coverage. Gary Sykes and Tony Aitken. Looking forward to seeing them guys do the business. A new resin drives, good luck boys. Miggy, Kyle, Linney and the rest of Nurin's drives were in your corner. Matthew Hayes, send them kids up here. I'll tell you something, mate, that's great. I'll DM you my number in a minute. They've, they seem to go on quiet. I don't condone giving alcohol to kids, but since we give them about eight, eight half a lag, they've gone lovely and quiet anyway, so uh, that seems to have done the business. Adam Roberts, Bolton Terrier, loving the commentary. Tar for the ale on Wednesday. It's all right, mate. I'll be two next time I see you. That's the way we work. 
Real Jewsbury News getting behind their lads, backing the local lads to win. Paddy Barnes, come on, Tommy McCarthy, VIP Boxing Live. And uh, that's it, yeah, we'll catch up. Keep the tweets coming in, hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Here we go, third round now coming up. Referee's having a little look at the pair of them now. I think Tommy needs to come out, just get behind that jab straight away now. Needs to get him out of there. Don't want to drag this on now for four rounds. Come out, put the jab out there. Shown he was hurt to the body a couple of times there. He did actually show it. You could see the hands going down. You could see him showing he was hurt. Winging that right hand in again. When they do put the gloves up like that, you've got to, that's the way to get it. He had a little warning for the body shot. Like I said, I don't think that'll bother him too much. Putting the punches together now. Chesney's legs are going a little bit wobbly out there. Referee having a little look at it again. He's close. I think he was close to stepping in in the second round as well. It's less and less coming back. And that's it. The referee waves it off. Tommy McCarthy, welcome to the professional ranks. Third round stoppage. Doesn't seem to be too much of a complaint there. Good performance. Just joined by Steve Wood, just popping up here, just checking everything's all right with coverage. Dressed quite smartly tonight. Got a nice little uh, red and white striped shirt on. Looks like his missus has dressed him, so well done, Lynn. You're, you're, uh, you're responsible for how smart Steve looks tonight. Luckily he's out of earshot, so he won't get to hear that till tomorrow. I know the camera's going to try and get onto him then, but uh, no. It's going to go over to Michael Pass again now. We'll get the uh, we'll get the result, get the official results, shall I say. And then, like I say, we're moving on. Next in the ring, we've got the local lad, Tony H. Tony sold a few tickets. I think all of the lads who he sold tickets to like a beer and a burger, because the bar's absolutely heaving with uh, with the Jewsbury lads. But I've also heard the first two smokes by my army chant, so I think the minibuses are pulling up now for uh, for John and his and his fans, his friends, his family. This will be a cracking show, the atmosphere is building more and more. Here we go now, going to go and get the official results off Elvis, a.k.a. Michael Pass.